welcome viewers to the sg online classes today's class will be after doing six numericals on ohm's law and uh, resistance formula today we will move forward in your page number 78 of your textbook mbsc class 10 physics chapter 3 electricity okay here the topic is resistance of a system of resistors system means more than one or two together they are called system so that means we are going to study resistors okay more than one resistor together and then more than that combine how how many ways of combining them and why do we combine them those things will be discussed here okay so in any electrical circuit it can contain many resistances okay together so how we need them why we need them those will decide in which way it, it has to be connected there are two ways of connecting them okay what is that the first way of connecting is first way of connecting is in series combination series is important okay combination and the other one is in parallel combination that we will write later on okay let's try to understand what is this in series combination how do resistance how are the resistances are they are combined okay i'll start with the diagram directly it's not difficult you remember this was resistance here r1 because i'm going to have r2 r3 also connected to another resistance r2 connected to another resistance r3 fine so this side it is x it is not important where it is situated okay the whole circuit will not show this part maybe there is battery there is other things voltmeter emitter everything we are not going to show them just we want to show how it is connected okay this is called series combination okay series means the first one is there and the other one is directly connected here the third one will be connected there go on first one connected here second one third one in to make a long chain this is called series combination okay so resistance in series is understood and we'll try to derive what will have happen once we connect this way the resistance okay let us directly do that in a series it will in a uh, re real diagram it will look like this resistance one resistance two resistance three suppose this is there and a battery is there you understand one battery connected to another battery here two cells okay this is the key k means it can be switched on and off when it is connected now it is open circuit okay when you close it will be closed circuit that is not very important in this diagram because you know that it is to make the current to flow here we will measure how much is current going through it the current will of course go like this so it will be called i same current will go from r1 and come out of r1 and come go to through r2 and through remember the word through okay i will not use the same in parallel through r3 through r1 r2 and r3 same current i will come and i will come out the current is i okay now here i want to measure what is the potential difference so i connect one voltmeter similarly here i want to connect i want to measure what is the potential difference potential difference is also called voltmeter remember i will connect one voltmeter here this exact diagram is given in your circuit in your textbook also okay so this is how we want to connect it and and want to see what are what is the whole thing going to happen this is the total emf of the source emf means the voltage full voltage okay now let me write let let r1 r2 r3 implies three resistances connected in series you have connected here right next what i'll write let i 
is the current current through them them means r1 r2 r3 same current is passing through okay now v1 v2 and v3 what are they they are the potential difference you can also write voltage but i'll write potential difference potential differences across remember the word again across whenever you measure potential difference two separate points are required two points are required. that's why we say across okay across this means this side and this side across r1 that is v1 across r2 for v2 and for r3 it is v3 respectively you can write fine these are the things we have in the diagram okay now using ohm's law because this is what we already know so we have to use what we know in order to find what is the new thing okay v1 is equal to what is that v1 is what this is v1 this is v2 the reading here okay v3 equal to current r it should be i1 r1 but the current is i same so that is why i1 is i here remember that is very important because it is a formula is v1 equal to i1 equal into r1 as v is equal to i r similarly v1 has to be v1 equal to i1 r1 but as you see the current is same even for r1 r2 r3 it is through them same okay so that is why this happens and what again here is have going to happen this is equation number one v2 equal to i r2 this is equation two v3 equal to i r3 three things fine adding adding one two and three let us add it will become v1 v2 v3 left hand side left hand side left hand side added right hand side right hand side and right hand side has to be added so i'll get i r1 plus i r2 plus i r3 fine very easy up to here let's continue the next page so from the previous page what we got v1 plus v as we observe okay we see in the diagram what we saw is the total voltage is v which was divided into three parts v1 v2 v3 right so this means what so in the previous equation you see v1 plus v2 plus v3 was v so that v equal to i r1 plus r2 plus r3 what i did is if you remember v1 v2 v3 was here so here i replaced v this was here in the previous equation so i replaced it here okay this becomes your equation number four now now if r s s stands for series okay r s be the equivalent equivalent resistance what is the meaning suppose we don't have r1 r2 r3 we have only one resistance r that is rs in place of r1 r2 r3 suppose i want to use only one r which will work exactly the same purpose like r1 r2 plus r3 so what will happen suppose i name it rs then equivalent resistance rs then what will happen ohm's law will then say v should be equal to i r s you understand because the voltage i am not going to change that means the, I, the battery is same the meaning is this the meaning is this same voltage same voltage same voltage here here is that a also kept as it is emitter is kept here okay this i call it r s this is a okay this is a so this is your emitter so this is the battery v and the current is i suppose 
in place of r1 r2 r3 i have kept rs so this will happen right so from equation 4 what i got is v should be equal to here v is equal to here like this so that means right hand side and right hand side should be same so i understand i r s should be equal to i r1 plus r2 plus r3 i and i will cancel so you get r s equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 so what is the meaning of this whenever you connect two or three resistances in series like this okay that means if it is two three four then it will become four five six seven eight this is the meaning okay very simple meaning the three resistance if you connect like this their total will be the full resistance which is equivalent to them that means by joining them what i am doing is i am increasing the resistance very simple okay if i need seven or eight resistance if i need suppose four five six seven eight suppose i need uh, nine ohms what i have to do is four plus three plus two i have to connect them like this okay this is a very simple arithmetic okay arithmetic calculation so this is this is the this is what you call series equivalent resistance okay now what is the <clears throat> use of this whenever you have to increase the resistance this has to be done okay so this is for your series combination here important thing is to remember that i is same through the word word through through all resistances important very important okay and <clears throat> v1 v2 v3 across all will have different voltage it may have same if the resistance are same then it can ha also have same but it will be measured separately okay these are the important points to be remembered in the series okay and then voltage total is v1 potential difference or voltage to total is these are the things you have to remember and finally suppose you have three that means three if you have many you can have r1 r2 r3 going on like that okay suppose you have five then it will be r rs will be r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus r4 plus r5 like this it, it can go r6 so on okay this is the if you have seven it will be seven up to seven right so this is the whole thing about your uh, resistance in series similarly we'll try to do what is in parallel okay in the next video thank you